Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. And we begin with the best news we've had in a while from the front lines of the COVID fight. Yesterday, the pharmaceutical company Moderna announced they've safely tested a vaccine on humans that seems to block the virus from spreading. The sample was small, only a handful of people, and that's a long way from the 7 billion people that would eventually need it. Still, the company said the results couldn't have been better. Getting a vaccine in the pipeline is key to reopening schools and businesses, so Wall Street was particularly excited by the report. By the close yesterday, the stocks that make up the Dow Jones were up more than 900 points. Vaccine or no, we have to let it go. The Broadway show, based on Disney's blockbuster hit Frozen, has just become the first major production to get canceled permanently. All stages in New York's iconic theater district have been dark since March. But even when theaters reopen, at some point after Labor Day, this musical won't return. On a brighter note, although Elsa and Anna are done singing in the Big Apple, the North American tour and international productions of Frozen are still on track to open. The exact dates still to be determined. Sports fans have a couple reasons to cheer. On Sunday, NASCAR held its first comeback race at Darlington Raceway in South Carolina and named it the Real Heroes 400 in honor of frontline workers. Veteran driver Kevin Harvick picked up the win in front of empty stands, but about 900 personnel were present who all went through medical screenings. And across the Atlantic, Germany's soccer league is back on the pitch. Each player from the 18 teams will be tested at least once a week and will be required to wear a mask when on the sidelines. There will be no hugging, no handshakes, and no fans allowed. But pre-recorded chants and cheering are being played over the loudspeaker, and some very dedicated supporters have paid $20 each to have a cardboard cutout of themselves made and placed in the otherwise empty stadium seats. While stands may be quiet in Germany, one particular stadium is filling up in Denmark. Across that country, primary schools and nurseries have been slowly reopening, but many teachers, especially those in the crowded city of Copenhagen, have struggled to find enough space to make sure students are keeping a safe social distance. While some kids are taking their classes in gymnasiums and outdoor tents, a lucky 200 fourth and fifth graders get to go to school at the National Soccer Stadium. With over 38,000 seats, the stadium provides plenty of space for students to spread out. It may not be a traditional classroom experience, but for these children, studying and learning in the iconic stadium is now their new and very memorable normal. Summer travel plans have been seriously upended by COVID-19, but that doesn't necessarily mean everyone has to be stuck at home. Some adventuresome folk are turning to an ideal travel mode for this situation, the RV. According to the Wall Street Journal, some rental companies report that daily bookings for recreational vehicles are up as much as 600 percent. The size and pricing run the gamut from a short trailer you attach to the back of your own car to a 45-foot land yacht with three beds, hot showers, direct TV, Wi-Fi, and even a sub-zero fridge. In the season of corona, each can function as a mobile quarantine unit, allowing vacationers to hit the road without the need for airplanes, hotels, restaurants, or even bathroom breaks. That's it for Kid News. A quick reminder that a tax-deductible donation to produce this podcast of kid-friendly news is greatly appreciated and can easily be done on our website, www.kidnews.org. Now, the Kid News Quiz. What is the first Broadway play to get permanently canceled? Frozen. Which two sports have resumed play, but without fans present? NASCAR and German soccer. Where are some students going for school in Copenhagen? in the National Soccer Stadium. What are some families considering as a safe way to travel this summer? Renting a recreational vehicle or RV. In one for the road, 
Basketball legend Michael Jordan has set yet another record, or to be precise, a pair of his shoes did. A signed pair of Nike Air Jordans that the star wore back in 1985 sold for $560,000, three times the estimated auction price, and breaking the world auction record for sneakers. One interesting note, Jordan's feet are different sizes, so the left shoe is a size 13 and the right a 13 and a half. Before we go, our Kid News birthday shout-outs go to Vivian in Chicago, Illinois, Adrian in Lithia, Florida, and California, Kylie in Danville, and Cassie in Daly City, and Thomas in Madrid, Spain, or maybe I should say, Feliz Cumpleaños. Our Kid News teacher salute today goes to Eric Krauss and his fifth grade class at Nellie Hughes Stokes Elementary in Dover, Delaware. Thanks for listening. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.